Team Poker Challenge. Poker is a very interesting game from the point of view of artificial intelligence research. We at the University of Alberta are a team of researchers who are investigating artificial intelligence. And historically what we like to do is demonstrate our ideas using games. Um, games have been called over a soft lot of artificial intelligence, the fruit fly of artificial intelligence. The idea is it's a very um, simplified, well-contained demand that allows us to explore the intricacies, intricacies of making computers do intelligent decision making. We apply them to games, we learn lots of lessons, and we apply them to bigger um, real-world problems. Poker is very interesting because it has the complication of imperfect information. You don't know what the opponent's cards are. That's in contrast to games like chess and checkers, where the game is perfect information. You know everything about the state of the game and you can make the objectively best move. Objectively best move. Here the problem is two hidden cards, you don't know what they have. Can you play in a way that allows you to maximize your chances by inferring what the opponent is likely to have? It's a very important problem for artificial intelligence research. It's a very um, important problem that we want to have computers that can do decision making like humans. <coughs> Poker is a game of skill and luck. You have to uh, factor both in to any kind of program that you build. The problem in having a managing competition is what do you do about the luck? There have been managing exhibitions before, they've been exhibition matches. And in fact, our computer program has played against strong players before, and we've always lost. And then you always say, well, we lost because we're unlucky. What do you do? You can't keep making excuses that you're unlucky. Somewhere down the line, you have to start winning or demonstrate that you really were unlucky. So what we've done here is, is develop an interesting math format to try and remove both of the luck. We have two talented, world-class professional poker players here who are going to each be playing a version of our software. The idea is that one match will be going on here. The second match will be going on upstairs in that hotel room. But the interesting novelty of the matches are that the cards that are played here will be reversed in the hotel room. So that if the human player gets lots of lucky cards here, and the match is going upstairs, those lucky cards will be dealt to the computer. If you take a look at the result, at the, the overall result, then if you take the two human scores and add them together, the two computer scores and add them together, that will give you the result of the match. If one player, human, is insanely lucky, the other human in the other match will be insanely unlucky, so the luck average is up. This format eliminates most of the luck and allows us to come up with a result that hopefully will give us insight into the relative skills between man and machine. This hasn't been done before, so we really don't know what to expect. Um, are the best players in the world still better than the best computer programs? Have the programs caught up? We don't know. Hopefully by the end of tomorrow we will have some insight into that question. This match would not be possible without the very kind and uh, adventurous spirit of, of the two professional players who are here uh, playing. Um, these uh, players uh, embrace the kind of things that we're doing. They're computer savvy, they're mathematically literate, they understand what's going on, and they're willing to, to tackle the challenge of playing uh, computer programs. Um, beside me is Ali Islami, sitting on the stage, Phil Lack. Uh, both are well known in the poker community, not only from tournaments, but also from the cash games they play in. Both have been extremely successful, uh, and both are willing to put their reputation and pride on the line against the daunting program. <laughs> For the first match today, uh, Ali is going to be down here on the stage. Phil is going to be up there playing. <laughs> For this evening's game, we start at 6 o'clock, we will be reversing it, Phil will be on the stage, Ali will be up there. They're each going to play 500 hands, nobody, not even us, will know the result of this match until it ends and we find out the result from upstairs. So even though, you know, perhaps Ali crushes the computer down here, we won't know the result until we get the result from upstairs and add them together to see what happens. 
The uh, computer team is from the University of Alberta. It's called Polaris. The poker project started in the early 1990s. Only around 2002 that our team uh, started building programs that were really competitive with the top players. Um, the entire team is here. Let me just introduce a few of the uh, key players on the team, uh, just so that you're familiar with them. Uh, Michael Bowling, Team Banna, with Michael. Michael Bowling is the team leader for the Computer Poker Research Group at the University of Alberta. Uh, Darth Billy. Darth was the inspiration for this project. He came to the University of Alberta in 1991 as a master's student, student wanting to work on poker. Sixteen years later, he's uh, still working on it. Um, <laughs> Darth took a brief interlude where he was a professional poker player, but he now has a PhD in computing science uh, as well. Uh, Neil Burke has done a lot of behind the scenes programming. He started on this project in 2001. And uh, Marty, okay, Kevin, where's Marty? Over there against the wall. Uh, Marty, the postdoc at the University of Alberta, has made some fundamental advances that are integrated into the, the program that are being used. Day. Uh, the team is quite large, there's many other people, and I don't want to insult them. Um, they please just stand up. They're all, their names are all at the back on the um, poster, but, but I hope you'll have a chance to talk to them and uh, discuss their work. Um, there's two other people I want to acknowledge right now. Uh, Michael Lipton is, where's my book? Michael Lipton from Rutgers University is the match referee if there's any or question about the rules, Michael will settle them. Uh, Scott Horton from over there, BioTools, who's running the Poker Academy software. Uh, his program is dealing the cards, and if there's any issues in uh, the uh, fairness of the cards that are being dealt or the interfaces, uh, Scott will be uh, determining that. Uh, lastly, I want to thank AAAI for this wonderful opportunity to host this uh, event. I'd also like to thank you for coming on the media for the, the kind of attention that you're giving us, and we look forward to a very exciting time. Good luck, gentlemen.